Most of the entrepreneurs that I speak with are still looking for more meaning in their lives. They're trying to get clear on their purpose, wondering what they should be spending their time on and starting to ask some of the bigger questions. If you can relate, welcome. I've been there too, and in this video, I'll ask you some questions to help you get clarity on your deepest purpose. I'm Ryan Juni. I've started five technology companies worth over $300 million, and I've invested in dozens of others. I've also been on a decade-long journey of spiritual awakening. This channel is about quintessence, where we go deep on the topic of business, spirituality, and seeking the truth. We all struggle for the search for purpose and meaning. We want to make sure we're spending our short time here on earth in the best way possible, giving our greatest gifts and making the biggest impact we can in the world. This is especially true if, like me, you consider yourself an expert generalist, meaning you can pretty much do anything that you set your mind to, so what should you be doing? This may sound like a high class struggle, but it is a very real struggle for all the high performers that I know. If you're lucky, right now you feel super motivated and excited every day when you wake up knowing you're spending every minute to the best of your ability. This happens to all of us at some time in our lives. But what also happens very often is that we start to lose interest in our projects or start to feel like our work in that realm is complete and it's time to move on to something else. But what is that next thing? In our go, go, go world of productivity and optimization and hustling and grinding and making money and scheduling, we forget to pause, take a breath and connect to our deepest truth. When I start coaching entrepreneurs, one of the first things I ask them to do is get clear on their deepest purpose. And to be blunt, they usually tell me that they think it's a waste of time. They want to get back to the hustle and grind. But at some point, often a year or two later, the importance of being aligned with their deepest purpose finally sinks in. And they tell me they wish they had dedicated time to this much sooner. Because when we are living a life aligned with our deepest purpose, everything just feels different. Our heart feels more full. We have more energy and enthusiasm. Colors seem brighter. Clarity and confidence and certainty replace anxiety and fear and indecision. Not only for ourselves, but this energy is infectious. It ripples out to everyone in our lives, everyone that we encounter in our lives. The stakes are high. The rewards are worth it. So let's dive in. This is the first video in a series where we'll take a deep dive into the mind and spirit to discover why we are here on Earth. I'll be taking you through a structured process to give you clarity, so make sure you hit the subscribe and notify button so you don't miss future videos in this series. In this video, I'll be covering three things. What is purpose? Why is it important to uncover it? And some key questions you can begin asking yourself today. As a spiritually developing human, you have in general two core purposes that you're striving to achieve in this lifetime. The realization of consciousness, also known as awakening, enlightenment, infinite unconditional love, and many other names, and something we'll call karmic purpose, a thing or several things that you need to achieve in this lifetime so that you can die feeling complete. To illustrate the difference, if you pursued only conscious awakening and not your karmic purpose, you would be content happy and complete, sitting in a cave, meditating and resting as consciousness for the remainder of your life. But if you're watching right now, I suspect you're like the majority of humans who would not be satisfied doing only that. You also have a karmic purpose. You have an urge to do something. Let's explore what that is. We'll save the discussion of conscious awakening for another video series. It's likely that your karmic purpose is the result of a long sequence of cause and effect extending back through all the events in your lifetime and also genetically extending back through all the events that occurred to your parents and your ancestors in their lifetimes, and also maybe even including all the events that occurred to your soul or mind stream or consciousness in previous incarnations. I don't want to delve right now into the philosophical aspects of how your karmic purpose came to be, but rather the practical aspects of how to uncover what it is and what to do about it. There are several reasons why it's important to uncover your karmic purpose and work towards dissolving it. The most important, one day you are going to die. In your final days, would you rather look back over your life feeling satisfied and complete about a life well lived or be left wondering what more you could have done? I know this talk of death may sound grim to some of you, but it is an important tool used by some of the world's greatest to get clear on their purpose, like this guy. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Because almost everything, 
all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. That was Steve Jobs, founder of Apple, from my commencement speech at Stanford University back in 2005. I didn't realize it at the time, but wow, was I lucky to have such an amazing human give such a great speech to my family and I. Another reason is that having a clear vision of your karmic purpose will help you overcome all the obstacles and challenges that life throws in your way. Without a strong passion connected to your purpose, you'll tend to give up too easily and not achieve the great things that you're destined to achieve. As a founder that I coached once told me, when you aren't working on something that you love, it's impossible to overcome the obstacles that come up. It's too easy to weasel around and focus on other things until the company runs out of money. I learned this after going through a tremendous amount of pain. A third reason is that other people love supporting those with big, bold, passionate purposes that come from the heart. Others will be cheering for you to succeed. It will become easier to attract people and resources and money for your projects. The secret of success is to discipline your life so that all of your actions and activities are in alignment and in support of your deepest purpose to minimize unnecessary distractions and detours. If you don't know your purpose, then your purpose is to find your purpose. So the first step is to turn inward and get to know yourself a little better. For the rest of this video, I'm going to put five questions up on the screen for you to begin answering. These questions are only the beginning. My full purpose questionnaire has 35 questions and takes about 90 minutes to complete. You can get that for free by going to the website shown here on the screen and also linked in the description below. I'd like you to pause the video after each question appears on the screen, take out a notes app or a piece of paper and write down your answer. Write down the first thing that comes to you. That's often where the truth lies before it gets corrupted by overthinking. Question number one, what does the world need? Question number two, what are you good at? List a few things that you're better at than most other people. Question number three, what skills do you have that people would pay you for? Question number four, what do you spend your time thinking about when you're done with work and other commitments? And question five, if you had five minutes and the whole world was forced to listen, what would you say? Make sure you've paused the video and written down your answers to each of these questions. And if these questions are beginning to stir something inside of you, set aside 90 minutes to work through the full questionnaire linked below. That's it for now. When the next video in this series is published, it's going to appear here so that you can continue exploring. And for those of you wanting to become better leaders for your teams and your families, I encourage you to check out this video on the four key leadership styles of the world's best. And until next time, Go deep. Ooh.